In our spotlight, the GOP convention in Milwaukee kicks off just one week from today. The Republican National Committee drafting a 2024 platform that may usher in changes to the party's longstanding positions on key issues like abortion, same-sex marriage, and immigration. Sources tell ABC News former President Trump called into a meeting with party officials today to express his approval of a draft for a new Republican Party platform that, while not finalized, is expected to align closer to Trump's ideology. Theology. This, as former President Trump seeks to distance himself with Project 2025, a policy and personal platform that would dismantle some federal departments, impose sharp limits on abortion access, and give the president more power over the federal workforce. I didn't get enough of them on the last uh, on the last episode here, so let's just go ahead and bring back our panel, Catherine, John, Marsha, and Asma. Marsha, let's start with you now. The Democrats are fundraising and trying to bring awareness to that Project 2025. Why are they doing this, and is it a good strategy right now? Because it is frighteningly, it's, it's so scary, that's why. It's a fantasy playbook for the next Trump administration, and, uh, and everything in it is just out of control. So... Um, I think that they are right to draw attention to this because it shows us exactly on paper what he plans to do if he does become president again, and that is, you know, become a dictator president. Uh, he would be empowered by a compliant Republican Congress. And then uh, uh, most frightening for me is that he plans to purge hostile federal employees, you know, those civil servants who aren't political um, appointees. And, and to get rid of them, to do whatever he wants. You know, they, they came flat-footed in the last administration, and it looks like they're trying to plan ahead for this one. And Asma, what are we hearing right now about the GOP, a GOP platform and how it's evolving? Are we, are we playing to the base, or are we trying to recruit new, new Republicans here? Well, I would say uh, it's playing certainly to Donald Trump's base. I mean, if you look at the party platform that we got uh, released today, it, it reads it in some ways like a Donald Trump rally. Um, very little mention of some of the key social issues like abortion. There was just one mention of that. Um, he talks about wanting to secure the border, uh, ending inflation. This is the red meat that you often hear Donald Trump talk about. John, are you in agreement here? Are we looking at an evolution here? Are we looking at just kind of a way to keep the base and, and keep moving forward with what we've got going on so far in the Republican Party? Yeah, I think they're looking at an attempted revolution, but I think they'd better be very careful because uh, I don't think as many people are buying it as they think. And I've been saying this for a while now. The Republican Party is still stuck in primary mode. And they've got to realize they've got a general election now. And this ain't in the bag for them yet. And they better pay attention to the middle where the 10% the of the people decide most elections. A lot of what they're proposing isn't it going to be appealing to them. And Catherine, I want to finish up with you because this is definitely a question on everybody's mind. The VP announcement, the running mate, you know Trump is a showman. What are we expecting here? Fireworks, a song, I mean, a <laughs> big speech. I mean, what is going to happen? I cannot a wait. Truth, social post, who knows? Um, look, his advisors have been on TV essentially saying that by this time next week, we will know who that uh, VP contender is. Look, we've talked about Senators Marco Rubio, J.D. Vance, so we know that they're talking contenders Doug Burgum governor of North Dakota uh, could there be a dark horse could he just denounce somebody that we haven't really been talking about sure that could happen but the reality is we will know in a week uh, or less and the people that I just mentioned are the top contenders I am surprised that you're not mentioning either Nikki Haley or Greg Abbott out of Texas, but you know what? You're the expert here. You all are, so thank you again that. so much for joining us. <laughs> I know, no, thank you for joining Who us, knows? guys. We really appreciate your time and efforts today.